alanine aminotransferase test, ALT test. An alanine aminotransferase test, ALT, measures the level of ALT in your blood. ALT is an enzyme made by cells in your liver. The liver is the body's largest gland. It has several important functions, including making proteins, storing vitamins and iron, removing toxins from your blood, producing bile, which aids in digestion. Protein acts as an enzyme that helps the liver break down other proteins so your body can absorb them more easily. ALT is one of these enzymes. It plays a crucial role in metabolism, the process that turns food into energy. ALT is normally found inside liver cells. However, when your liver is damaged or inflamed, ALT can be released into your bloodstream. This causes serum ALT levels to rise. Measuring the level of ALT in a person's blood can help doctors evaluate liver function or determine the underlying cause of a liver problem. The ALT test is often part of an initial screening for liver disease. Also, an ALT test is also known as a serum glutamic pyruvic transaminase SGPT, test or an alanine transaminase test. The purpose of alanine aminotransferase test an ALT test helps determine if someone has liver damage or failure. Your doctor may order an ALT test if you're having symptoms of liver disease, such as jaundice, which is yellowing of your eyes or skin, dark urine, nausea, vomiting, pain in the right upper quadrant of your abdomen. Liver damage generally causes an increase in ALT levels. Therefore, alanine aminotransferase test can evaluate the levels of ALT in your bloodstream. However, it can't show how much liver damage there is or how much fibrosis, or scarring, is present. In addition, the test also can't predict how severe the liver damage will become. An ALT test is often done with other liver enzyme tests. Checking ALT levels along with levels of other liver enzymes can provide your doctor with more specific information about a liver problem. On the other hand, an alanine aminotransferase test may also be performed to monitor the progression of liver diseases, such as hepatitis or liver failure. Assess whether treatment for liver disease should be started. Evaluate how well treatment is working. How to prepare for accurate results when testing for ALT. An ALT test doesn't require any special preparation. However, you should tell your doctor about any prescription or over-the-counter medications you're taking. Some drugs may affect the levels of ALT in your blood. So, your doctor might tell you to avoid taking certain medications for a period of time before the test. How is an alanine aminotransferase test performed? An ALT test involves taking a small sample of blood, as outlined here. A healthcare provider uses an antiseptic to clean your skin in the area where they will insert a needle. Then, they tie an elastic band around your upper arm, which stops the flow of blood and makes the veins in your arm more visible. Once they find a vein, they insert a needle into the vein. This may cause a brief pinching or stinging sensation. The blood is drawn into a tube attached to the end of the needle. In some cases, more than one tube may be required. After enough blood has been collected, the healthcare provider removes the elastic band and the needle. They place a piece of cotton or gauze over the puncture site and cover that with a bandage or tape to keep it in place. The blood sample is sent to a laboratory for analysis. After that, the laboratory sends the test results to your doctor. Your doctor may schedule an appointment with you so they can explain the results in more detail. What are the risks associated with an alanine aminotransferase test? An ALT is a simple blood test with few risks. Bruising can sometimes occur in the area where the needle was inserted. The risk of bruising can be minimized by applying pressure to the injection site for several minutes after the needle is removed. In very rare cases, the following complications can occur during or after an ALT test. Excessive bleeding where the needle was inserted lightheadedness or fainting at the sight of blood an accumulation of blood beneath your skin which is called a hematoma test results for alt normal results 
The normal value for ALT in blood ranges from 29 to 33 units per liter U, L, for males and 19 to 25 U, L for females. However, this value can vary depending on the hospital. This range can be affected by certain factors, including gender and age. It's important to discuss your specific results with your doctor. Abnormal results. Higher than normal levels of ALT can indicate liver damage. Increased levels of ALT may be a result of death of liver tissue, hepatitis, which is an inflammatory condition of the liver, cirrhosis, which is severe scarring of the liver, a tumor or cancer in the liver, a lack of blood flow to the liver, pancreatitis, which is an inflammation of the pancreas, hemochromatosis, which is a disorder that causes iron to build up in the body, mononucleosis, which is an infection usually caused by the Epstein-Barr virus. Most lower-level ALT results indicate a healthy liver. However, studies have shown that lower-than-normal results have been related to increased long-term mortality. Discuss your numbers specifically with your doctor when you're concerned about a low reading. In particular, if your test results indicate liver damage or disease. To greater than you may need more testing to determine the underlying cause of the problem and the best way to treat it. Thank you. I hope you are always happy and healthy. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel to receive useful information.